So the first Toy Story movie came out the year I was born. The second one came out the year my brother was born. What an awesome coincidence. Toy Story 2. So Toy Story 2, the highly anticipated sequel to 1995's mega hit Toy Story from Disney Pixar. I remember being a little kid and seeing ads like commercials on TV for Toy Story 2, like TV spots with slogans like the toys are back in town and playing the boys are back in town by Thin Lizzy. I remember that. Good times, man. So in Toy Story 2, Andy's headed off to cowboy camp and you would think he would bring Woody, but just before he's about to leave, he's playing with Woody and he accidentally rips Woody's arm. And you know how kids that age are. If a toy is even slightly broken like that, they're pretty much worthless. So Woody is left behind. So while Andy's at cowboy camp, his mother puts on a yard sale. And here's where we get to the main premise of the movie. While trying to rescue another toy from this yard sale, Woody is stolen by a guy named Al McWiggin, voiced by Wayne Knight. So now Buzz and the rest of the crew have to go on this journey to find him and bring him home. And now we got Toy Story 2. Now Toy Story 2 is my favorite movie in the Toy Story trilogy. It was a close call between 2 and 3, but in the end, 2 wins by just that much. This is probably one of the greatest sequels ever made if I really had to lay all my cards on the table. I mean, just the way this movie starts out, it begins with this whole sci-fi fantasy action sequence with Buzz Lightyear, and it just throws you off guard. You're like, what am I watching? I thought I was watching Toy Story. You know, Andy's room, Woody, and all the rest of the toys. But it sucks you in, and you're watching this fun action sequence with Buzz, and he's fighting up a Zerg, and it turns out that it's actually Rex and Buzz playing this video game in Andy's room. I just love that. It's so genius. Like, the sequel is starting off with something you would never expect, and it makes it work. It's just... I love it. And yeah, all the toys you love from the first movie, they're back in this one. Slinky Dog, Ham, Mr. Potato Head. But this movie being a sequel, we also got some new characters. See, the guy who stole Woody, Al McWiggin, he's a collector of sorts. I mean, he ends up being a really sleazy dude. But you find out the franchise that the Sheriff Woody doll comes from. And that is an old 50s black and white TV show for kids called Woody's Roundup, right here every day. Woody's Roundup, come on, it's time to play. And Al already has the rest of the Roundup gang, which includes Bullseye the Horse, who's pretty much like a big puppy dog, Stinky Pete, who's voiced by Kelsey Grammer, who's kind of the wise one of the group, wise one, I mean, yeah. And one of my new favorite characters of the entire Toy Story franchise, Jessie, voiced by Joan Cusack. Jessie is awesome. Just the very first thing you see of her in the entire movie is when Woody first meets her, she's all like, yee-haw! She's so excited to see him because she's waited years for this and her energy really comes through. It's like instant likability. And not only do you like her because she's fun, but you end up emotionally connecting with her later on because you get her backstory and oh my God, it is so sad. I'll, I'll touch on that later when I get to the music. Yeah, you know it's coming. So Woody's hanging out with his roundup gang. Meanwhile, Buzz and the crew are going on this perilous journey. I mean, you remember that scene with the cones, like they have to hide underneath these cones and cross the street through traffic. It's hilarious because it's so intense because they're using cones to get across the streets so these cars like they had to avoid the cones and just makes this enormous car accident complete with a big rig like the cement thing rolling over. Pretty bad day for anyone who was in that wreck, just saying. And eventually they make it to Al's toy barn. Now Al McWiggin actually runs this like Toys R Us kind of shop. So when the crew gets there they run into all sorts of funny stuff like Barbie dolls and Buzz meets like a newer version of the Buzz Lightyear toy. So again just like the first one we have a delusional Buzz Lightyear and our Buzz really gets to take a look at himself and be like Wow, was I really that deluded? It's just great. It's great to watch. It's entertaining. This delusional Buzz ends up joining them on their journey, and it's great. Because you have Tim Allen voicing two characters who are the same character. It's funny. This movie also has some great lessons about life. You know, this is where the heart of all the Toy Story movies are. You know, about kids growing up, they have their toys, but when they grow up, they do eventually discard them. We'll get there in 11 years. There's a scene where the prospector is talking to Woody. See, these toys, the Roundup gang, they're going to be sold to a museum to make Al filthy rich. So the prospector is talking to Woody. He's like, you can be adored by children for generations, or you can go back to your kid and eventually be discarded. But then Buzz later on tells Woody, yeah, you can be adored by children through a glass case, but you'll never have that feeling of closeness with a kid again. And this time Buzz gets to tell Woody, you are a toy. So there is that moral dilemma that Woody has to go through in this movie. And it's just written, done so perfectly perfectly. Like seriously, an A plus job. And now for the music. Once again, the music for Toy Story 2 was done by Randy Newman. And once again, the music is completely perfect. When we get to Jessie's backstory, yep, here it is. They have this song called When She Loved Me. It's sung by Sarah McLaughlin, and it has got to be one of the saddest songs I think I've ever heard in a Disney movie. Like I was watching this movie just a couple hours ago, you know, to prep for this. And when it got to that scene, I was tearing up a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. It's such a powerful song. Just the piano and the vocals. That's all you need. Or are there strings in there as well? Doesn't matter. You find out that Jessie used to have an owner named Emily and Emily eventually discarded her, leaving Jessie completely and utterly heartbroken. And it's super sad and you just fall into it. You're like, man, 
Jesse, I'm so sorry. That right there is seriously like a 10 out of 10 scene. And of course, the rest of the score is great too. Like later in the movie when Woody and Buzz are riding on Bullseye, they're trying to rescue Jesse from the plane. You hear that Western theme come up? That bum 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 bum. I remember listening to the DVD commentary on this, the commentary in Toy Story 2, one of the best I've ever listened to, by the way. And the director said that when he was telling Randy Newman to score this scene, to ignore what he's seeing on screen, you're scoring a Western movie. So that's what Randy Newman did there. He made like a Western theme and it was perfect. They used that for the theme for the Woody's Roundup show in the show when they're watching it in the movie. And it's awesome. And of course, you can't forget the jazzy new version of You Got a Friend in Me that Wheezy sings at the end to wrap the whole movie up. It's great. Guys, in the end, Toy Story 2 is actually my favorite Pixar movie of all time. It does everything a sequel should do and it does it perfectly with the same lovable characters and new lovable characters that you love so much. A really touching story with Great life lessons. The humor is really funny. The emotions tug at your heartstrings. And the CG, the animation, looks a lot better than the first movie. So that's a plus. And the soundtrack is fantastic. Great movie. I love Toy Story 2. So Toy Story 2. Have you seen it? What did you think about it? And how does it rank among all the Toy Story movies or Pixar movies for you? Whatever you think, go ahead and leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe. Woody's Roundup. Right here every day. Woody's Roundup. Come on, it's time to play. There's just see the olden cowgirl.